All right, and we are back. Hopefully the last couple minutes haven't been too boring for you. Um, so let's get started. 25th Ward, the silver case, just kind of giving you um, some warnings. Um, we are back on pseudo 51 fuckery. Um, so there's gonna be some wild shit in here. It's gonna seem a little bit convoluted. It'll all make sense at the end though. Um, if you haven't seen our silver case playthrough, there will be a recap um, in one of the um, one of these first ones, so don't feel the need to go back. But I do recommend if you want to uh, hang out with us, uh, feel free to go watch those old ones. I think they're all up on YouTube at this point. So yeah, um, it's been quite a while since I played this, and I've only played it through once, so I don't have all of it memorized. Um, and I'm going to be going through some of this about the same time as everyone else. Um, so. With that out of the way, let's start a new game. There we go. We were Kyoko Nagi in the first game, so I guess the pattern dictates we name our character Tiaki Hinata now. I don't think, if I remember correctly, that we name a character in this one. I could be wrong. Okay. So, we have correctness. Zero z number zero zero, prototype. We can't go anywhere else, so. Let's get into our prologue. The past is not dead. 30 years have passed since the government special administrative region 24 wards project to curb over an urban overcrowding. And the sun was beginning to set on the economic rebirth at the hands of the chosen people. The people yearned to entrust their own lives to a fully ordered and regulated society, and saw a perfect utopia in the 24 wards. Humans lose the will to resist, and the power of criminality increases, and spreads like a virus. The 24 wards had two sides, one a perfect utopia, and the other a society of crime. The Kanto 25th Ward was an accelerated perfect utopia, an upgraded version of the 24 wards with all the structural faults of the original test sample resolved. A new structure of local government was introduced, and with it was born an environmentally hygienic region, grounded in a non-communalistic society. And now, the distortion progresses. Number 00, zero Prototype. Let's get going. Yeah, Accelerated Perfect Utopia is a dystopia. Um, I will say, this game clearly had a higher budget. Alright, October 3rd, 8.13am. 25th Ward Seaside Park. Investigation Summary. Quite honestly, I would not want to live on the top floor of this building. Not because, like, the view wouldn't be killer, but also, like, if there's a fire and the elevators don't work, that is so many stairs to have to go down. I'm gonna get right to the point. I won't be taking questions. Listen carefully. There's been a string of suspicious deaths discovered here at Bayside Towerland, the symbol of the 25th Ward. In the four months since the condos were made available for purchase, nine people have died here. All of them have been ruled suicides. We haven't been able to get any further information. It will be hard to get a foot in the door, even going through the Me Metropolitan Police Department. Someone or something has been exerting their power to block these incidents off. But fortunately, we were able to obtain some info through a certain route. A body was discovered on the 75th floor this morning. So far, nobody apart from the person providing this information has been made aware. See, you're talking to my criminal heart, like, if there's a fire, I won't be on the top floor because I'm too busy setting the fire at the bottom. Like, that speaks to my chaos drive. I love that. That is a fantastic point. This is where we'll need you. Infiltrate the scene and find out what's going on. An investigator from HQ is using another route to get in. Make contact with them. After that, I'll submit a formal inquest and get started on the official investigation. I'll be presiding and leading over the investigation. 
I'm putting you in charge of the field. All right, high rise apartment, exterior. In case you couldn't tell where we were. Seeing this town brings back some bad memories. Oh, that's right. Okay, so, um, we now have a dice. I'll fill you in on the basics of investigation. The eyeball icon is used to look or act in regards to the space in front of you. The person icon lets you talk. The arrow icon allows you to move. The bag icon represents items. Don't forget this. Okay. Well, let's talk. This high-rise apartment complex is up against the threat of administrative crime. I just realized, that's Kosaka, who we saw at the end of the last one. It was, um, Sakura's partner. He's aged. Um, there have been a number of suicides in which the cause of death is unknown, and they've been covered up. Oh, yeah. I know, they gave me the dice, and it was like, oh, no, we had so many problems controlling ourselves the first time. It's proof that someone powerful invo is involved, reining in reporters and keeping the media under their thumb. This is the sort of case that would absolutely be shut down if standard investigative procedures were followed. We're going up against a huge opponent. Okay. Well. Let's move. We're not finished. Okay. Well, why do you want that? It's an independent governing body under the authority of the citizens completely free from federal interference. The, uh, the success of the 24 wards accelerated the progress of the 25th ward, ward proposal. It's supposed to be some sort of utopian paradise populated by about 300,000 people. People's belief in peace is unwavering. Yeah, there we go. Chiaki has a dice to roll, hopefully being the ultimate guy, gamer means controlling better. I will say, this is a little bit... Okay, fine. What else do you want to do? You have more to talk about? Register yourself as an administrator and begin infiltration. We've acquired a fake ID for you, so there's no need to worry about being made. Use it wisely and sparingly. All right, we got an ID card and an ID password. Consider this your first mission as a 25th Ward HC unit special investigator. Check out the room on the 75th floor. Okay, can I leave now? Be careful. All right, let's go. All right, entrance hall. All right, so I guess we'll go to reception. Welcome back, sir. They said door boy, and quite honestly, I expected him to be a little younger. Sorry. Please produce your ID. I will confirm your identity. Okay. Uh... Oops, nope, crap. I'm afraid I cannot let you through without confirming your identification. Yeah, I hit the wrong thing. Um, item. ID pass. Alright, ID card. Okay, apparently the placebo parts will make you start the chat all over again if you get the wrong answer. Should we look up a guide for those? Yeah, probably. Um, if you'd like to do that, feel free. Um, otherwise I can do it. Um. Checking. Your, ver your identification has been confirmed. My apologies. Please proceed. Yeah, we accidentally handed over our fake ID first. I mean, uh, let's see. There's move. All right, let's go. Yeah, you are clearly not named Jefferson Steelflex. All right, there are seven elevators for some reason. Welcome back. Here, let's talk to you. Allow me to show you to the residential floor. Please let me know if I can be of service. This is a top level high rise condominium featuring excellent sanitation and administration. Life here is better than reality. Okay. Okay. 
Sir will be boarding from Elevator 7. Please proceed to the 75th floor of the area marked 7. Okay, can I move now? Aha, I can. We have passed their puzzle and figured out how to get into the elevator. Alright, in the elevator. Please enter the number of your desired floor. I mean, we want 75. The second coming of the Riddle Queen. Exactly. Yes? Yay! I paid attention! Riddle Queen has nothing on me. Next stop, 70, 75th floor. It's so realistic. All right, 75th floor. All right, let's start ourselves moving. All right, um, well, I don't know what room I'm going to, so. Um, what are you doing here? Hello, ma'am. Yeah, our husband's ex-husband's father's sister was the first riddle queen. An errand for me to do? I was a bit surprised as that wasn't what I had as that wasn't what I'd heard. Whatever facts you may see from here on out, please be sure to wipe them from your consciousness. We still need time before we can begin the investigation. Check everything out and be sure not to leave any evidence. Okay, what does that mean? You remind me of him. Sorry, just talking to myself. Forget I said anything. You can enter the room with your ID password. It's room 75028. Make sure you get the right room. We don't want to disturb the neighbors. Okay, 0572... Okay, we're going to 28. Let's go! Uh, I guess we'll go right? Uh, let's see. 18, 19... 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, all right, 28, and we will use our password. ID password 80326. No, 803026. Okay. Please enter your password. Okay. 80326. Oh, ah, yeah. Using those ultimate gamer creds. All right, password confirmed. How the hell did all the blood get up there? The murder occurred in this room. Okay, uh, thanks, Sakura. I hadn't figured that one out. It feels too cold and sterile for someone to live in. Don't you think? All right. Um, well, I can't look, so I guess we'll talk. Let's start investigating. We don't have much time. Okay, now can I look? Hello, ma'am. This is your first case. Your main priority is not to apprehend the criminal. Your mission is to kill crime itself. Apparently, you can see crime in everyday life. Mitsuru sent you into the field believing that this case would help awaken you. 
But I can't go back just yet. When I go back, it'll be when I've killed you. Or when you've killed me. Using criminal power to control the crime-controlled 25th Ward. Yeah, there we go. Wow, typing in passwords is so easy. I wonder why Hajime takes so long to do it. Um, it's a dangerous gamble, gamble Mitsuru. The poison is too strong. Kamui will kill the life. All right, and that was Prototype. New World Order is coming soon. Not Kamui again? Well, punk rock. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's not dead yet. All right, let's go ahead and save our data. Go ahead and create ourselves a new data. All right. All right, so let's go into New World Order and do some investigating. Number one, New World Order. I don't care if that thing is alive, it is dead by the time it hits the ground. Life or death? All right, October 3rd, 4.40 p.m., Seaside Park. Hey, Mitsuru, how are you? Sorry, were you waiting long? No, I just arrived myself. You look well. I haven't seen you in years. Since Sakaguchi's funeral. That was five years ago. Wow, so it's been that long? Ever since that case... I'd prefer you didn't speak about that. Yeah, sorry about that. But the past is the past. You can't force yourself to forget it, you know? Anyway, what do you want to speak with me about? Where are you with... Where are you at these days? I've heard rumors. I'm working as an official of the Ministry of International Trade and Industry. I wasn't cut out for criminal investigation. I'm really satisfied with my current position. Can I take that at face value? A detective who was once on the front lines of investigation is satisfied working as a bureaucrat? I don't believe that. I thought the same thing. I was worried about whether or not I'd really be able to tear myself away from the job, but it turns out I was made for office work. Even I was surprised by that discovery. That's good. I was actually worried about you after hearing that you'd left the 24 wards. So this is a relief. Thank you for thinking of me. It's an easy job. You should make some time to enjoy life. Yes, I will. You take care too. Wait, there's one thing I forgot. I've been hearing rumors recently. An administrative officer has been going out more lately and has apparently been putting together a special investigation unit in secret. It sounds like some really capable people are joining up. Have you heard anything about this? No, nothing in particular. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't have. In this line of work, there aren't many capable people out there, so I thought it might have been you. Sorry for doubting you. I'm not that good. I'm far away from all of that now. Not that far. It's got to do with what's happening here, right now. 
I feel death in the 25th ward. Death? Alright, 5.52 p.m. In the elevator. Hello, sir, you're missing part of a head. No fingerprints or traces. No results from the autopsy or analysis of the body. Security camera data has been lost. The victim has no next of kin. No witnesses. M.O. was cold and ruthless. Dead men tell no tales. This condo's administrator is, Kose is Kosuke Kurimizawa, age 30. The only thing to help identify him was a resume from six months ago. A resume he'd used at a job interview. We checked out his most recent address, and it was a dormitory where single people tend to hang out. Nobody knew anything about Kurumizawa. So, no trace at all. Where was he registered? It wasn't recorded in his ledger, and when he moved into the 25th ward, all the data changed. So, no trace here either. Doesn't anyone know anything about Kurumizawa's past? Hmm. What? Cat got your tongue? Well, uh, it's a bit nasty, but they found a large amount of hair during the autopsy. It looks like the victim had eaten it all. Ate? Like, he ate it? Ate it? Yeah, just as a snack. Um, yeah, he ate it, ate it. It looks like he'd been eating a load of female hair. Oh, okay. He apparently got in that bathtub that we, uh, drained. That's fucked up. Just hardcore creepy shit. Pretty normal perversion, really. I heard this from one of my mentors, but a crime where personal information goes missing isn't a normal crime. From whom? He's dead now. He got too involved in some case. Alright, 75th floor. Excuse me, where's the scene? Apparently, these condos had more than a million applicants in the first day on sale. Each tower has 3,000 homes, and there are... What, 30 towers? That's around 90,000 homes. That's pretty impressive. Population-wise, by quick estimate, that's like 300,000 people. But it totally doesn't have that lived-in feeling, you know? There aren't many people walking around, and there's no karaoke place here. Clearly, the indicator of whether somewhere is lived in is the closeness of the nearest karaoke bar. I don't get your standards. People who care about things like karaoke don't apply to live here. Most of the people living here either have a reason to want to get away from the normal government, or have decided to make huge changes in their lives. They target people from out in the sticks, who don't have some kind of group they belong to. What the hell does that mean? That means doing away with city life. What's behind that is pretty clear. What is it? I got no clue. What, you don't know either? I wouldn't really want to live here myself. It has no warmth, you know? Okay, well... Good for you. Alright, so we still have our ID card. But we have nothing else. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and move. If I can find where the move thing is. Never mind, I can't find the move thing. Wow, it's pretty quiet here. Uh, excuse me, manager. Could we get some guidance? There is the move. Alright, we know where the scene is, assuming this is the same scene, but... Seriously, the Japanese have never really been into the uh, personal karaoke things at home, um, which, like, I kind of get it. It is more fun to go out and do it, but... All right, 28. I 
can't do anything but talk. It almost feels like the future. Like, you can't really feel any sign of people actually living here. It's not bad, though. This living space does sort of have a 25th Ward feel to it, doesn't it? It may be fine for you. For some people, this could be a real breeding ground for crime. Oh yeah, I get what you mean. The psychology of fear can spread. They talked about that in the lectures. Shit. Wasted time shooting the breeze. Kurosan's gonna be pissed. Okay, well... Manager, you mean this room? ID number 75028. There we go. Crime scene. Same crime scene as we just saw. Is this the body? There are no injuries. The fuck are you dickheads doing? Sure took you long enough to get your asses here. Did you sell all your cookies or whatever? You detectives go on a nice little date? You think this is fucking happy fun time? This case is already pretty fucked up. It's like serial murders. Sorry. We were talking with the building manager. The manager? You mean this asshole? <sighs> I guess it wasn't clear enough to you that asking a mouth breather with this dumbass look on his face wasn't going to get you any significant answers, was it, Jabroni? I mean, you've only been a detective for like, what, three years already? It's Shiroyabe. And what about you, Sakaki? Uh, yes, sir. I'm helping out with the autopsy. Right, Hiro? Yeah, she makes herself useful. She's really quite a lifesaver, so please go easy on her, Kurosan. So, having a cute young girl around is apparently a real motivator. Right, Jabroni? Are you seriously going to keep calling me Jabroni? I really hate that nickname. Quit fucking around and start investigating like a big boy. Unless you want to get tossed back out to the sticks? Yes, sir. What's this? This blood spatter. Alright, let's talk to Sakaki. Sir, are you okay? You had a hard time, huh? You found the body, right? You seem okay. Are you used to this sort of thing? There are a lot of suicides around here, so you're probably used to finding bodies and stuff. Don't let it get you down. Thanks, Sakaki. Alright, Kurayanagi. If you don't need to be here, then fuck off. Okay, she's warm and fuzzy. Alright. Keep looking at the blood splatter. Okay. She's pretty rough, isn't she? There aren't many women out there with the nickname Japanese Dirty Harry. Her New Year's resolution was to become the kind of detective who looks good with a revolver. She's got a really dirty mouth. Sorry for complaining like this. I will say, like, Jabroni is probably a better nickname than Big Dick. They're still ranked down on the, um list of nicknames I probably wouldn't want my boss to call me. Okay, Kuroyanagi. Okay, all I have is these three fuck-ups. Um, the HC unit forbids revolvers. Since she isn't able to carry one for her day job, she moonlights as a pouncer. If caught, she'd be fired immediately. But somehow she never gets reported. I have to say, like, she might be busting our balls, but... I kind of like her. Something's bothering me. It's like a pristine dead body. Some really vicious blood splatters. I almost feel like we're being invited. Do you get what I mean?
There's something unusual about this blood. Hiroka, do blood splatters usually reach the ceiling? Some small splatters could. It's not inconceivable. But this amount, this isn't realistic. Maybe it was done manually? Someone used some method of spraying it up there? But, like, what would the point of that be? This feels really weird for a suicide, doesn't it? Yeah, in the six months since opening alone, there have been more than ten suicides, which definitely sounds fishy. Huh? You see this hole here? Hole? Something smells. Excuse me, uh, could you cut the lights in this room for a minute? Something's bothering me. Exactly. Do not estimate the capacity to be motivated by cute girls. It is important. Um, okay. The fuck? Something weird is up with this light. Well, no shit, Sherlock! This hole is shining. Okay. It's too dangerous to be here. Get too close to the fire, and you're gonna get burned, too. What's this? You should get out of here. This place reeks of something hidden and dangerous. Jabroni! Sakaki! Get away from the light! Light? What the hell? At this time of day? That's awesome! It looks like Christmas lights! The manager should be taken outside where it's safer. Sakaki, where are you? Respond! I'm totally fine. I'm fine, but the light is so bright. Ah! I don't know what that was, but that doesn't bode well. Generally, we don't get nice things happening in this game. Did that just go off again? Huh? What? Sakoki, are you even listening? Hey! Why are you all stiff? Your mouth's open. Sakoki? No way. Jabroni! Tell me, what the fuck is going on? Don't just vocalize your goddamn feelings. Use your fucking words to explain what's going on. She's dead. Sakaki was killed. There's a sniper up above. Stay away from the light and get everyone out into the hallway. Sakaki. Sakaki's... I've lost another partner. Well, that won't change our mental health at all. Cities decay and cities are built. Even if our infinite karma was a means of killing our way of life, we wouldn't notice. We're just dolls and trusting every our everything to the system. Smile for me, Sakura. I'm utterly powerless. I'm just not gonna make it. Yet another perfect lifestyle has been born, and the dreamlike life based on despair contaminates the people. This could be the re-advent of the 24 wards. Alright then, everyone. It's about time to stop dreaming. All units, are you prepared? You have one mission. Kill the life. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, man. It's not gonna be good. Okay, well, power outage. Yes, as opposed to killing the death. Alright, 7.15pm. In the room. Until we have a clear idea of what this guy's packing, we're at a huge disadvantage. Listen up, Jabroni. We've only got two combatants out there. This hottie and your punk ass. But this is enough people to turn things around. No way. We don't even know who or what this guy is. Quit whining like a little bitch and just kill the guy. If you're gonna give up and die, then we'll know just how capable you are. 
you're gonna be a detective, then man the fuck up and do your job for once. Got it? Yes. I'll take him out. Okay, then. Now lure him out. Run this way, down the hallway, and you should reach the elevator. Wait on the upper floor. Huh? What about you? I'm gonna provide backup, obviously. I'm not so much of an asshole that I'd leave you hanging. Right? I guess I'm gonna have to go. Please make sure you have my back. All right, back to the elevator. Can't move freely. But standing still isn't an option either. Damn tight spot. All right, let's head back to the elevator. Standing around here is dangerous. Come on, we're moving. Okay. We head back to the elevator. Let's see if I remember the way to the elevator in the dark. Yeah, first it was kill the past, now it's kill the life. All right, elevator. Enter the floor number. Okay, she said the upper floor. So I'm going to guess 76. Woo! Riddle Queen strikes again. Because we need to go where the sniper is. Which is through the floor. Huh? The elevator stopped. Oh, I don't like this sense of instability. Shit. What do I do now? I don't get that bitch at all. What the hell kind of orders are these? Lure him out? What the fuck kind of plan is that? She's not even backing me up either. I can't deal with this bullshit. Seriously. Oh. Were you listening? We're eavesdropping. That's pretty creepy, man. If you were listening, then just tell me so. I'm not actually the type of guy to talk badly about people. To be honest, just between you and me, I actually respect her. That sounds forced, doesn't it? I really can't stand her. I don't know, I'm into her. She could step on me. Oh no! Huh? Is something shining? I think it's time for us to go. A Delivery guy? Um, all I can do is talk to him. So, hi, man. Hey, what are you doing over there? I don't know. It's the only thing I can do. The mailman, right? What kind of work requires a night vision scope? Some sort of private startup or something? Must be pretty tough, though. Having to insource secure work to go up against private corporations? Crawling up into the attic to assassinate people? Shit! Oh, that was close. This shit is dangerous! What the hell am I supposed to do if I die? Well, probably not much, ma'am. Yeah, of course he's, strong. he's scared of strong independent women. Goddamn pampered, comfy bureaucrat shouldn't be playing with grown-up toys. Huh? What, you mad? Don't get in my way here. My job is stressful enough as it is. So... It's not like I get paid extra for being exploited like this in a dangerous environment. This job isn't really worth it, and the last thing I need is more stress. I want to settle this peacefully. Peacefully? What are you doing here? Look, the 25th Ward is kept secure by the Postal Services Federation. All the police need to do is handle adjustment and disposal afterwards. And seeing how you people actually work? What a pity. Looks like you're gonna die in vain, kid. So, it was organized crime after all. I had read that it was a plot by general contract contractors, but damn. You simple detectives are out of your league with this. 
your investigations are just a waste of time. This activity is invisible. What a load of horseshit. My job is managing and regulating the people. Now quietly shut your mouth. You talk too much. Yeah, go Kuro-chan. You're a 25th Ward HC unit detective, right? Then step up and kill the motherfucker. Disposal is your job. But, like, th there's that interval, you know? That unique feeling you get when starting and staring death in the eye. The mental strain between you and the opponent, the conflict. You're gonna die, you know that? We're in the shit here. Guys who wait around for the intervals get their asses handed to them. Next time you hesitate like that, I'm gonna kill you myself. So stop being a pussy. Okay. I'll buy you some new undies later. So until then, keep your shit together. Shit. Okay, she's now my favorite. Sorry, man. Oh, that's a lot of them. Hey, manager, you're in the way. Go hide somewhere. We're surrounded. We can't get out of this. These assholes are desperate, too. If this is their oh-so-holy workplace, then we're the intruders. That's some arbitrary reasoning. Disposing of these guys is also our own arbitrary reasoning. It's basically the same thing, right? Sakaki has been killed. We have a really big reason. And we killed one of theirs, too. So, we're even. Even so, we have to avenge Sakaki. Jesus Christ, you guys are annoying. All you need to do is whip out your guns and dispose of these assholes. This job isn't about reasons and reasoning and shit like that. But motive is important. What the fuck ever? Yeah. It's been a while since the disposal this big. I'm pretty stoked. Don't get in the way, Jabroni. And don't do anything stupid. Got it? This is a really big catch. Act accordingly. I'm gonna lose my shit, too. The rage has really been building up. I'm gonna hulk the fuck out. Sorry if you get killed. Well, I'm gonna turn into a ferocious-ass beast myself. Ferocious-ass beast, huh? You're such a poet. Maybe I'll have you write my epitaph someday. Let the massacre begin. Seriously, I love her. The target residential district, number six Bayside Tower, has been neutralized. 39 Federation affiliates have been processed. 118 people were detained and then transferred to the processing center. Scheduled to be incinerated in 40 minutes. No change in schedule so far. Survival has been confirmed for three agents of the 25th Ward HC unit. One died instantly. Name? It has been confirmed that Agent Sakaki was killed in the line of duty. Hmm, I see. Be sure to take proper care of her surviving family. Understood. What about our guy? We've confirmed their safety. I have been assured that they boast truly congenital criminal paralysis. Good work. Get out of the area as soon as the evidence has been destroyed. Roger. This isn't finished yet. You're still out there somewhere close by. You're out there somewhere, laughing. Such an avaricious beast. Where are you? Looking down at the world and fucking laughing. Exactly, she's our new wife. Oh yeah, we're already diving straight back into police corruption. Like, the post office is corrupted. I don't know, like... There's no doubt that the police is corrupted. Um, There you are, on the top floor. Who are you? Uehara is on the top floor of this building. All right, 9.50 p.m. In the atrium.
Welcome back, sir. Please produce your ID. I will confirm your identity. Um, I don't have anything. Please use this. All right, we got a VIP card. It's a security card for the special elevator. The person you need to meet with is on the top floor. Okay. Checking. Your identity has been confirmed. My apologies for the delay. Please proceed. Okay. Bye. All right, let's head up our fancy VIP gold elevator. fancy. All right. Up to the VIP floor. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Uehara. VIP room. Exactly, vacation time. Why is there so much seating in here? How many people do we think we're fitting in here? Please, take it easy. Welcome to Kinshiro Nakane's domain. These are what you'd call adult toys. No, no, I don't think so. Uh, uh, but please don't misunderstand. I wouldn't want you to think I was some sort of pervert. I don't mean it in the dirty sense. More like miniature gardens and collecting action figures. It's more like that. Much like how older people try their hands at bonsai. One's social status and good name decides the toy. There's a reason high-rise buildings are constructed in the city. One can flash their rank to the world. Certain credentials are required to go upstairs. These credentials decide a person's value. But there are no more credentials for me to acquire. I've already obtained them all. Please, have a seat. Are you the flea sent by the dogs at the Ministry of International Trade and Industry? I'm afraid a flea can't accomplish much. Mr. Uehara, it was me who called you here. I'm taking over the reins of the 25th Ward. After obtaining a wealth of actual power, I established this 25th Ward for the purpose of creating the utopia of my dreams. Corporate kidnappings and the like are child's play. This is how governments fail and collapse. For this new form of community, securing human resources is of the utmost priority. Capable human resources are what create a superior city. Where the 24th Ward went wrong was its prolongation of its plans based on growth and education. People are not made. People are scouted. This is where the ideology of the 25th Ward lies. Due to environmental and situational factors, capable human resources are rising up all throughout the country. However, there are absolutely no measures in place for their support or securement. As if to strike a final, devastating blow, huge numbers of employees have been let go from the Postal Service. These are the future citizens of the 25th Ward. For this purpose, building on the foundation set up by the former Postal Service, efforts towards mandatory citizen registration have been enhanced greatly. The inception of the project lies in indirect community administration. The purposes of use of people's IDs are clarified in order to construct efficient and effective interpersonal relationships. Then, by making rules and punishments clear, honesty and equality can be guaranteed. It becomes the city of dreams for those who want it. The urban residents absolutely swarmed in. However, that alone does not realize the ideal. 
It simply reconstructs a corrupt and depraved society once again. The future I have in mind is one of an all-new reconstruction of the Kanto region. Just as those who came in from the countryside built up Kanto, the 25th Ward will, enter, will offer a new society built up by the chosen few. Basically, it's a plan for a second, new capital. Many of the politicians hungry for revenge supported the plan. The powerful modern-day lords of the various regions sent many residents to the 25th Ward. Community-based purges of unwanted and unnecessary human resources were led by politicians. A cleansing for the outlying regions and a boon for the 25th Ward. But the 25th Ward also needs to be cleansed. While they may be the chosen few, recessive elements are born. These elements absolutely must be processed and disposed of. The heinous crimes unit to which we will belong is a special agency created for this purpose. The special rights you've been granted were provided an expectation of a similar cleansing effect. Taking all of this into consideration, I want to negotiate with you. I want to consolidate and aggregate these scandals of the 25th Ward. Therefore, I prepared a new name for you. I want you to work under this name. You just need to do adjustments. Using the name Kamui Uehara, you should have no reason to decline. Kamui has been burned into your memory. You will enliven this city. I want you to become the driving force behind these people's lives. As a special agent of the heinous crimes unit, and as the serial killer Kamui Uehara, All right, October 5th, 11.55 a.m. Seaside Park. Since this place properly started up, there have been more than 50 suicides. I mean, I say suicides, but the causes of death are unknown. The police haven't been able to intervene. It's been hard for me to get by, too. I'll look into it. If you get the chance, lend me a hand. So, what are you here for today? There's been an incident which I can say with certainty wasn't a suicide. The Postal Service manages this residential area. They're literally hiding out in these apartment buildings. Did you meet with the diver? Our agents did some pretty heavy processing. But some people in white jumpsuits snatched the delivery guy. That was supposed to be our way of assisting you. What in the fuck exactly are you? Hatoba, how far deep have you ventured? I can feel the ghastliness in your tone. Just like the Mitsuru of old. Can I ask you one thing? What is it? Why didn't you pull the trigger earlier? At that timing, disposal would have been fully possible. I was unable to discern whether I was dealing with friend or foe. So you just let your catch go? To see how they'd move, or what? No, that's not it. My position and my relationship with you are still vague. And all honestly, I didn't want to make contact just yet. I mean, pretty deep. I guess there's still a lot you don't know. That's certainly not good news. Adjustments may be required. You gonna kill me? No, I won't. I don't yet have the capacity to execute your adjustment. I'll handle the matter once I've become stronger. How modest! You creepy fuck. There's one thing I'm going to have to decline. The Ministry of International Trade and Industry is about to begin full-blown observation. They're uh, attempting to use their powers of forcible execution for the 25th Ward to change the laws of the entire country. Until then, just keep waiting quietly. That's impossible. If it's impossible, then we're going to have a problem. What kind of problem? The HC unit will be destroyed. But what if we can't be destroyed? Then that's where you and I do battle. I'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, they're still going with the create the ultimate criminal to tie all crime to and then kill him to end crime, which did not work the first time. But hey, second time's the charm. All right, and we finished New World Order. So good looking guy is coming soon. Travel is dangerous. Alright, so what did we unlock? Did we unlock anything? 
Sure, we'll save data. All right. So we are going to end, end here for tonight. Um, but I want to see if there's anything that we have. Nope, we are still in correctness. All right, so we're ending here for tonight. Um, next stream is Sunday, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. Um, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, if you joined us for the end of Raging Loop, um, hopefully you enjoyed the ending of that. Uh, if you're new, welcome. Uh, come hang out. Uh, watch us. We've got YouTube. Uh, we've got a Twitter account um, that you can follow us on. So uh, go watch our old videos. Go... Uh, see the gifts that I post every day or every time we do a stream um, I spend a whole two seconds looking at them um, and yeah that's all I got I don't have any other announcements so thanks all have a good night and bye <laughs>